I return with a full container of coconut water. Ha ha. And I will continue my very careful, very uh, roundabout trip back to London with my whole seven points of hull strength. I have enough fuel and supplies to pull this off. I, I feel confident of that. It's, it's bats and pirates that I worry about. So I'm attempting to split the difference between further out west, where the pirate poet was hanging around, and... No! 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 Oh, I'm going to be killed by bats. I've been killed by bats. Bats! Oh, oh my god. Bats, of all things. Oh. I've gone, but I provided for my heir. This was a very short life, folks. Four captains now will never return to London. Choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. I'm just going to hear the bats the entire time I figure this out, aren't I? No, thank goodness. All right, that was life D. So life E is the next one. All right, the Warrant of Redemption. You were Dolores' rival. 50% of iron and one weapon. Pointless because I didn't have an extra weapon. Pupil, 50% of mirrors and 50% of money. Salvager, 50% of veils and 50% of money. Shipmate, 50% of hearts and one officer. Or correspondent, 50% of pages and their chart. I am tempted to go for the shipmate again. My hearts value was not great. But being able to have the cook without having to pay 300 echoes for him was really nice. Yeah, I'm going to retain the cook. I, yeah, him. We will retain the cook and half of Dolores's parts. Sigh. Yes, I want to accept this legacy. Hello, Sierra lad. You arrived just in time. I'm uh, restarting because I died. <laughs> That's just the way this game works. But now I have to th figure out numbers. Because the death counter must be updated. <laughs> okay. I had eight crewmates. Uh, three officers who were not the cook, plus myself, and that equals 12. <laughs> I, 
I had noticed that you had it on your Steam wish list. Not because I'm a creeper, but because every time I look at the game, that's what it tells me. Oh, Oxygen Not Included. Yes, an excellent game. I have also played that for Try Not to Die Thursday. All right, 12. There we go. Death count updated. Now, let's choose a past. Captain's making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersea. Ah, yes, I see. Well, uh, this is actually the last week that I'm going to be playing Sunless Sea for Try Not to Die Thursday for a while. But the good news is all of my previous sessions are available on my YouTube channel all nicely packed away in their own little playlist. So if you if you want to to watch me try again and again and again, it's all there. This is Life E, by the way. I've been uh, alphabetically naming my captains to keep track of them. Uh, let's see. Choose a past, decide who you were and what you want to be, or a past wreathed in shadows, decide later. I'm going to choose a past because that allows me to get uh, stat bonuses. Although it's probable I'm going to go with the same thing as I did before in the previous two lives because it's been serving me fairly well up until this re most recent point. But I'll just go through them. A street urchin. Your urchin gang gra cast you out when you grew too tall. You took to sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. That last big score was enough to buy a ship. This will give you a bonus to veils, the skill of subtlety and evasion. A poet. Educated and articulate, you seek sensation at sea. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. Your long-banished father had a rich patron, it seems. This will give a bonus to pages, the skill of trickery, and knowledge. Veteran of the Campaign of 68, you fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension have brought you a command. This will give a bonus to iron, the skill of causing direct damage. An ordained priest, you fell from grace. There is nothing left ashore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps, at Z, you can overcome your appetites. That's a bonus to hearts, the skill of healing and morale. Or a natural philosopher. Your particular theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to beneath the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. This gives a bonus to mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. Didn't fall from grace as much as I was dropped? That is a good quote. Now, the previous two lives, I have gone with the street urchin because I like to use veils to sneak around combat. Uh, it keeps things from noticing me from as close at sea and allows me to avoid combat, which I really much want to do because I'm in a fragile ship with a cheap-ass gun. Uh, so that is, I believe that is what I'm going to do again. Because Veils, ha Veils has been one of my, um, it has been the kindest stat to me so far in this game. I mean, I, I am tempted by Poet because the higher your pages are, the faster you get secrets, which are what you use to raise your stats. But... Mm, 
I don't know. You know what? I've done urchin twice now. Let's try poet. Let's let's see how far poet gets me. A wise soul. Experience? You have intuition. And your friend, the sly navigator. He's a little vague, but he probably knows what he's doing. Perhaps you can find someone better, eventually. Talk to the navigator to find out why he, why he went to Z. Oh, this is the other reason why I choose a past rather than letting it be mysterious. Choosing a past gives you a free officer, and officers are free stat, basically. Like, this guy that I kept gives me hearts and pages. And if I hadn't kept him, uh, it would cost me 300 echoes to uh, get him back. When I start with 70 echoes, that's a lot. And this guy gives me one point of mirrors. Sly navigator, competent? Probably. Trustworthy? Possibly. <laughs> okay. Struggling poet, now you're a Z captain. I've gained 20 echoes, 25 pages, one sly navigator, and someone is looking for passage. Okay. And I'm going to continue looking for my father's bones because it is the most straightforward ambition. There's finding my father's bones. My father died somewhere at sea. He, uh, my cat, uh, my quest is to find wherever his, his body ended up and bring it back to London for a proper burial. There's also fulfillment, which is gather a hundred tales, learn all you can, write a masterpiece. Very time consuming, not very straightforward at all. Wealth, you know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family perhaps. Tough, tricky. Or a private kingdom, establish a colony where you are absolute ruler. A utopia, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, you have to find a particular place to find your private kingdom to, in order to get that one. But in the meantime, Father's Bones. Full Fathom 5, find where he fell and bring him home. When you found your father's bones, you can retire to victory. Explore fallen London to find your first clue. An occurrence. Your objective, ambition, quality is now find your father's bones and then retire. A last scrap of paperwork. Captain, Captain, an irregularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? I always go with Captain. Captain will do perfectly well ashore as at sea. Thank you. A last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die, just like the ones before her. The Z is hungry, but each captain passes on lessons to the next. Okay, so here I choose a portrait and a name. No, never, O oh Captain, my Captain. I have enough trauma associated with that. You know what? Let's let's go for the. I don't have time to do my hair. There's Z faring afoot, and we need an E name. And there is no way that I will not be Eleanor for this one. Oh, Sierra Lad, you don't, you don't watch enough of my Among Us playing on Wednesdays. I have been tossed out of the airlock so many times while people chant, Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> anyway, Eleanor, no longer of Aquitaine, setting sail. Your father's bones, a cold trail. Your father lost at sea so very long ago. The trail was cold, but now you have a lead. Mr. John Huffam, editor of the unexpurgated London Gazette. He's published your poetry from time to time. One week ago, he casually mentioned that your turn of phrase is very like your father's. A 
coffee at Caligula's. <laughs> I didn't pronounce that correctly, but who cares? Caligula certainly won't. Huffam curls his fingers round his steaming cup, a protection against the dank cold of the morning. Oh yes, I knew him. A man of some talent, your father. But he turned that talent to, uh, love poetry. Ghostwriting it, if you understand me. And, as you may know, love poetry draws the attention of a particular power. He glances out of the window. You follow his gaze to where the spires of the Echo Bazaar rise above London. Huffam leans forward. The masters of the bazaar, he says quietly, took an interest in your father. So although I liked him, and although I like you, I will need something to set against the risk. Bring me news. News from the Z. Bring Huffam a Z story, a tale of terror, and a memory of distant shores, and he'll tell you more. They can be found in many places around the Z, or purchased far away in Arem. Oh my goodness, this is so easy! I get those all the time. This is excellent. That's so simple. All right, now here's where uh, having a previous life was a big advantage to me because my lodgings is a townhouse rather than a, a room above a bar. Unfortunately, I can't afford to make a new will, so if I die, I'm going to lose the townhouse. But, at least I have it. Read the morning papers. The Unexploited Gazette, the magazine formerly known as the London Magazine, the Spiteful Trumpeter. Oh, excellent! Extra supplies. The Khanate is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the Carnelian coast want independence. They always do. The Unterzee, the paper's report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't. You'd know. Actually, it has. Every time I die, the, un the ocean rearranges itself. It's why I generally don't bother with taking the chart of my previous life. It's useless. Oh-ho! A promotional coupon for Mrs. Plenty's provisioners for a half cask of salt herring. You could use that. Alright, one recent news, one supplies. Sadly, I did not have a chance to store any treasure in my townhouse. I have nothing to sell to get more money. So I, what I want is a will. The, the court of chancery, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom it may devour. Ensure it doesn't get its lion tentacles on your property when you're gone. Should you die, this will ensure that your, heir, that your heir retains your lodgings and any heirlooms you've accumulated. Unfortunately, it costs 200 echo to write a will, and I have 70. <laughs> so... I need to make some money. So, a passenger, someone in the docks, wants to board my ship. Oh, somebody wants to go to Venderbite. Venderbite I can find. Agree to carry the unsettled salvager to Venderbite. She, sits, she visits Wolfstack every day in Z-stained rags, begging for passage. No captain will look her in the eye. Oh, uh, this is probably not going to get me any money, but I'll take her anyway. Welcome to board. She embraces you. I'd kiss you, Captain, but my beloved is prone to jealousy. We were parted, but the ancient captains at Benderbite will know where she is. Yep, this is not going to get me any money. All right, London. She's the greatest city in the Intersey, and don't you forget it. As usual, I'm going to adopt a Blemigan gallivanter. A Blemigan sits atop a splintered crate, clicking and whistling at captains when they come near. A polite bow. You extend your hand, and the Blemigan leaps on. Its tendrils entwine with your fingers, and it chitters quietly. It meets your gaze and bobs its dome in greeting. It's very small. Is it old enough for naval service? You're pretty sure its mustache is being drawn on in pen in an attempt to look older. 
As you approach your ship's gangplank, the creature flutes and vibrates with apparent happiness. The bosun winces as you bring it aboard. I now have a living gallivanter, which appears to be some sort of intelligent mushroom? But the best thing about the Blenigan is that... here we go. Unlike the comatose ferret here, who is worth one heart, the Blenigan is worth three mirrors and two pages, which is why the Blenigan is my mascot. The comatose ferret gets to rest. But yes, we should probably talk to our navigator here. The Z captain, look at it out there. It's not our friend. Don't forget that. All right, he increases mirrors if you give him a secret. Oh, I could proposition him. I, I could. How nice. Talking to my navigator, I know. What does he seek at Z, though? The Z is enough. But now you mention it, I have always had a desire to see Frostfound, the place where the Z rises to become a castle, the place where questions and riddles do battle for truth. He sighs dreamily, but he's watching you carefully. Yes, Frostfound. Frostfound can be found in the very north of the Z, and I bet it's not on my list which I've been keeping of all the places. I found it in two or three of my previous lives. But nope, I've never, I've never gotten the official direction that it's in. So, let's go put it on the list. Frost found. Uh, let's see. Very in the very north of the sea. Now that we've got that on the list, even though I kind of already knew where it was, I am going to be taking a break from this game, so having all this stuff written down for later, very handy. Okay, so the navigator wants to go to Frostbound. My cook, yeah, he won't actually talk to me unless I have a strange catch and mutter salt. So what his quest is, who knows? I certainly don't. I've never actually unlocked his quest. But I do enjoy having the hearts and the pages that he gives me and not having to pay 300 coin for it. Okay, let's visit the Admiralty. Let's, uh, let's ask if they have anywhere in particular they'd like me to go, if we can be assured of our, your discretion. This port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details in your journal at any time. Retrieve strategic information from Guider's Morn in the Corsair's Forest. Up, oh, we're back to Guider's Morn. Um... I think you might be able to get a strange catch from shooting down the big crabs, but the small crabs you only get either supplies or some fragments from. And I, I don't believe that my ship is capable of killing one of the big crabs before it kills me. But yes, I, I think you can get a strange catch by uh, hunting down the sea creatures. But I would want I would want more hull and a better gun before I did that. And I've never yet been able to afford more hull and a better gun. All right, anything else while I'm here? Sure, let's offer passage to a tomb colonist. An emigrant will pay to be taken north to Venderbite since I'm going there anyway. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London. 
but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. All right, I now have a tomb colonist in my hold. And they're going to Vendorbite with me. So... Oh yes, an advice for captains. Uh, this is a book that is great to read in your first life, but in all of your success, in, in all the lives after that, you just scroll right down to the bottom and says, sell this book. You do that and you get some more money. That's 50 whole echo for that book. With which I am going to buy some more fuel. Not a lot because I don't have a lot of money, but we'll get further with, with 11 fuel than we would with 9. All right. Now the thing is, because this is a fresh and brand new life, it means I have not, I have discovered nothing. I, the, this is, this is the map. This is the map when you first start out. A little daunting, just a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the light ship. There are certain things that don't move. There is a light, there is a lighthouse ship just outside of London here that does not move. There's Hunter's Keep that is just north of here that doesn't move. Benderbite never moves. A place called the Chimean Canal to the south never moves. But pretty much everything else moves. All right, the reason I come here is because if you give your recent news to the crew here, they'll give you a Z story. Now, I just need a memory of distant shores and a tale of terror. And I know where to get a tale of terror and a memory of distant shores will eventually just sort of happen for me. You can also buy fuel from, from the light ships in emergencies, but it's more expensive. So I recommend only doing it in emergencies when you don't have enough fuel to make it back to London. And this is Hunter's Keep up here. One of the other small handful of places that never moves. And I'm going to put in here and pick up a tale of terror. Eventually. Hump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other Untersee islands. Alright, this is the first time that I've been here, so I could try spying on the house with a 75% chance of success. Let's do that. That is a success. Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through a half-open French window into a grand parlor, grand in size, if a little reduced in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another, fair-haired but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says, and the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry, and then the end will come, for me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if we don't speak of it, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. I now know something of Hunter's Keep and have gained 40 fragments. Uh, this bar keeps track of the fragments. When it fills, I get a secret. And secrets can be used 
sometimes as currency and sometimes as ways to raise your stat, your, your various stat points here, uh, depending on what officers you have. The mascot will never raise your stat except passively, but these guys, you can talk to them and they will raise your various stats with secrets. Alright, let's reconnoitre the island because that generates a port report which gets me free fuel. Free fuel is important. The sea silence. I had already read that earlier this stream, so I'm not going to read it again. But I now have a port report. Alright, let's present ourselves at the house. They will have heard your ship come in. Why hide? Knock and enter. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Blue lightning is crawling up the funnel. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. All right, and here we have the choice of the luncheon with the sisters. And if I have lunch with the eldest, Cynthia, I believe that will generate a tale of terror for me. So that is what I'm going to do. The eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you, her eyes are wide and blue, her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap up something for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. I have gained one terror, one tale of terror, a box of supplies, I am acquainted with the sisters, lost 48 hunger, my iron remains unchanged, and I have a god's attention, salt in this particular case. I, from previous playthroughs, I think salt is the one that I least mind having the attention of, honestly. Uh, Hunter's Keep has a mechanic where if you have more, if you have recent news, you can actually dine with the sisters again. But since I used it, I you can only carry one recent news at a time. And since I used the one that I had to get the Z story, I I can't do that. The sisters all have headaches. They they're they're not coming out right now. So instead, I'm going to continue northward, hopefully without getting myself in trouble this time, and head to Venderbite. Oh, yep, that's, that's trouble. No. I'm going to scooch my way between the pirates and the bats here. You're sneakier with your light off, but it increases terror. And here we are, practically at Venderbite. I think the pirates might have noticed me again. But they don't appear to be chasing me, so... Is this combat coming from? I'm not I'm not seeing any opponent. Alright. The trouble with tomb colonists. You brought a decay this decaying emigrant north. Now what? Days of shrooms and roses. The new tomb colonist surveys Venderbite, shaking her head. It won't do, she says. It won't do at all. A plan. I had no idea the place would be quite so unprepossessing. Perhaps we can liven it up a little yet. If only I knew a helpful Z captain. Bring ten units of mushroom wine to Venderbite, and perhaps they'll have something for you. Oh, man. Mushroom wine's expensive. All right. All 
Alright, the Tomb Colony of Benderbite. Let us begin by gathering some gossip and getting a court report. Alright, that's one court report. Okay, let's find ancient captains to speak to the unsettled salvager, shall we? Shouldn't be too hard. What else do they got to do around here but molder? Terrible bad luck. An assortment of decrepit sea captains gathers around her, compelled by tradition, honor, or boredom. She picks her nails and closes her eyes. When at last she speaks, I want to find Lady Black. The captains that can run do. The rest shuffle away as swiftly as they're able. Only one remains behind. How long were you down there? He asks. Twenty minutes, she replies. The captain puts his hand on her shoulder. Seek the house of Kiel in Polythreme, he says, but if you can forget her, do. It's possible. He embraces her and departs. All right, so she wants to go to Polythreme, which is on my list. Yes, it's in the Sea of Voices, which is usually somewhere in the east central of the Z. Helpful directions, aren't they? Okay, so that's a thing. Let's visit the first curator. Ah, uh, no, uh, Sierra lad, uh, this is the Z. This is the Unter Z. Here, let me. No matter where you're from, it's the Z. But let's visit the curator. Probably the most interesting quest in the game from this guy, I'd say. No more light, the obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A banded shape, no larger than a child, lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. So, we can listen to a whispered request. Z Captain, Silkskin, not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors, seven colors. Pay well. Ask about the Grand Sanatorium. One hears the name whispered here and there in the arcades of Vanderbite. Accept the commission. Thank you, this poor fresh thirst for colors. Or depart without actually talking to him, which I'm not going to do. Listen to the whispered request. Seven colors. Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagon, Stewart has list. Find them here and there across the wide Black Z. And accept the commission. No more words. It collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will all be grateful if you do it this one last favor. So basically, this is a list of colors that the curator is seeking. I can reliably find one of them, which I remember correctly is Pelagon the color of the deepest Z. Someone has scrawled in the margin, beyond the gate there is a sea more sunless. Um, basically each page here is a color, and some of them have hints. Uh, but not all of them. Uh, it's possible that this one has a hint because it's the one that I can find. Which is unfortunate if true, but most likely is the, the uh, most likely that is the reason. 
it's how past lives influence things. All right, let's let's explore Venderbite while we're here. An attack! You round a darkened corner and start down a broad boulevard lined with grimacing statues. There is a fluttering movement above, and a cloud of frost moths swoops down upon you. You beat them off with your walking stick. They are determined, and the largest are the size of Z-bats, but they are fragile. At last they retreat, leaving three of their number melting into water on the pavement. Their wings are marked with patterns that resemble letters. You peer at them, but the script is already dissolving. I've gained one terror, I have five, I am wary. Gain five fragments, and that's all for now. But yeah, ten casks of mushroom wine. Ten! That's a lot. However, that's probably enough for a first trip. I should probably head back to London. Sigh. Actually, you know what? I have enough supplies that I can probably make it to Wither and back. That's one of the other places that doesn't move. It's not too far up the northern coast here. But if I can find if uh if if I can get to Wither, I can probably also hit Wither's um variant of a prison colony codex. And maybe one or the other of them will generate a memory of distant shores. Yep, here we are. This is Wither. With its harbor that is a little bit of an annoyance to get into, but not so bad for getting out of. And this is probably Codex over here. Oh no, not a lifeberg. I am not getting into battle with that thing. Thankfully, they're not usually terribly aggressive. All right, Wither. We shall gather intelligence and generate a very frustrating port report because they always answer a question with a question in Wither. It, that's how it's, things are done. One frustrating port report. Uh, let's explore the town. An intriguing smell. Who'll try? Who'll buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Oh, my hearts are very low, so this is, is trouble. Uh, there's the grilled troglodyte, par troglodyte prawns. Prawns? Language, I could say it earlier this evening, why can't I say it now? Uh, the shredded jellyfish, which has a 37% chance of success. Something mysterious, the tyrant's treat, a charred stick dripping with bluish fluid, with an 18% chance of success. And I can't actually have anything more robust because I don't have unaccountably peckish. So I'm going to go for the prawns. Not bad at all. Tangy and toothsome. Walk on, chewing cheerfully. Lost two terror, continuing wary. Gained a fragment, lost five hunger, and that's it. Uh, it's a modest challenge for shore leave. But that costs 50 Echo that I am not willing to spend, so moving along, maybe? Actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and watch that Lifeberg for a little bit. 
as it ever so slowly makes its way away. And then we're going to do as tight a Yui as possible. And Codex is never very far from Wither. It shifts a little in my experience, but never very much. It's, it's always close to Wither. And there's no reason not to visit Codex if you visited Wither. Oh, but that is a storm over to the right. So definitely not going any further east on this trip. Storms eat fuel like nobody's business. The Isle of Codex. And the doomed monster hunter who wants a searing enigma is still here, but let's compile a port report from the mutes. This will be fun. Okay, we've generated a very confusing port report. It's time to turn southward again. And how convenient, we're already facing that direction. One thing to bear in mind that I say to you specifically, Sierra Lad, is that the directions on this are relative to the ship, not to uh, your position. So right now I'm hitting D to turn towards the left and A to turn right. And it messes me up a lot when I'm driving south. Oh no, not bats. I don't want to deal with bats. You can be sneakier with your light off. Uh, possible? I did not play any of the classic Resident Evil games myself. I only watched other people play them. So I, I can't actually answer that. And we're just going to skip Vendor Bite because there's no reason to return. If my ship were facing the other way, then D would be right, but currently it's left. And it gets very confused when the ship is oriented uh, sideways. I frequently turn in the wrong direction. I've had many nearly close calls. Wait a minute, that's not a pirate ship. I don't know what those ships are. They might be ghosts of me, but uh, they don't shoot at me. I've never shot at them. We'll bypass Hunter's Keep. And here we are, coming back into London. That's not bad for a first voyage. We might even still have a barrel or two of fuel by the time we come into port. Returning to London. All right, let's collect the messages from the Harbor Master. Something has changed in the Neath. Someone wants to sign on. I have another day, a free evening, and the Rose Market has opened. Okay. We have many, many things. 
Interestingly, the university has not opened up as far as I can tell, unless it's somewhere in London. Oh wait, here we are. Uh, I do want to unlock the university as as soon as possible. It is another it is another source of income. So, the university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to pr prove yourself worthy of entry. So I have two whole secrets, and I can spend one to unlock the university. Oh yes, the university, the university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. They explain, teeth glinting. All right, I, I am now accumulating favors from the antiquarian, and I gained a point of pages. Uh, this is the alarming scholar. They buy various things, and an apology for the sudden background noise. There is nothing I can do about it. They're resurfacing the street in the middle of the night, as usual. And uh, the scholar will buy various things. Uh, the, they will buy the Z story, which I'm actually going to hang on to because I need it to find out where my father's bones are. <laughs> Resurfacing the, the road in the middle of the night? Yes, it is. Welcome to the Eglinton Crosstown. <laughs> uh, we have a... Si uh, they'll also buy Searing Enigmas, Dread Surmise, or extraordinary implications, amongst other things, but the other things only come up if you actually have one, so I'm not actually going to sell the scholar anything at, for the moment because they pay a little less than pocket change for Z stories and they work better as currency in other places. But unlocking the university for when I have other things is very important. Okay, so let's go to the Admiralty and turn in the port reports that I've accumulated. Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. That's five echo, one favor, very important, and a free fuel, which is excellent. I love the free fuel from turning in the port reports. The money that they give for the reports is, it's not great money, but that free fuel. Venderbite, what have the nearly dead been up to then? All right, 10 echo, one favor, and a fuel. Wither, I refuse to ask any questions. I don't want to give them the satisfaction. 20 echo, one favor, and a fuel. And Codex, exiled for giving answers. That's Wither for you. Anything new? 20 echo, one favor, and a fuel. I could ask to speak to the Admiral. I have enough favor now, but I don't have any reason to speak to him uh, for the time being. Having turned in all my court reports, I don't actually have anything to do with him. So back out into the street. All right, I'm going to stop by my lodgings, if I can find them on the list. There they are. And read the morning paper. Free supplies, lost to terror, one recent news. Uh, nothing else to do here because I still can't afford to make a will, which makes me very sad. I paid a lot of money for this townhouse. A lot more than 200 echo. All right, uh, how much hall space do I have? Oh, lots and lots. Let's talk to the blind bruiser. A little gift. A very fine evening to you, Captain. 
My, what you might call, mentor is very fond of adventurous Z captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Accept the dispensation. Do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Inquire further. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Or refuse. Too good to be true? I always inquire further. I just do. An airy wave. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river what is much patronized by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. A public house. And there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly, and I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Yeah, sure. Accept the dispensation, because I know where this goes. Fifteen points of space in the hold, or come back later. I have, I have more than enough space. A courteous nod. Well, my patron hopes that you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps some day you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, he will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct you might require. Good evening to you. He salutes and is gone. I have gained ten fuel, so now I have seventeen. Five supplies, so now I have ten. I have accepted a proposal, and I am suspicious. Because, you know, look at that face. How could anyone be suspicious of people who accept offers from that face? London. Uh, let's visit the Rose Market and see what they're buying. <laughs> Last I checked, I still had it. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Still got it. That's not actually my soul, but I pretend that it is. All right, let's visit the Rose Market and see what they're buying. A starving poet is looking for solace fruit. I sold a sonnet, he exclaims, jangling a pocket full of echoes. The veteran privy councillor is seeking an outlandish artifact. He is there surveying curios from distant ports with palace servants in muted slippers. The empress dislikes loud noises. Well, I don't have either of those things, but yeah. I could consider a specialist surgeon I'm not sure if I can afford her at this point. She's staying at a respectable boarding house near the docks and has made it known that she is available for work. I specialize in amputations. It's easy to acquire unwanted appendages at Z. Okay, I could employ the Clattery heir, who is a doctor who increases hearts and iron. Uh, that costs 30 echo though, which is more than I can really afford to give up at the moment. Alas. No ship's doctor for me. At least not yet. There's Labyrinth of Tigers, which uh, not hasn't been very useful to me. Uh, but might someday. If I ever get a harlot fry, I can sell it for 500 echoes here. Or I can, if I need live specimens, I can purchase them here, but they're quite expensive. They're 500 each. So I would prefer a different method of getting live specimens when I need live specimens. Anything else going on in London? A new recruit who awaits your attention. Let's see. Engage an officer, the haunted doctor. Please, I must leave this place. I can work my passage. I'm a doctor. The haunted doctor increases hearts and pages, same as the air, and costs 50 echo, more than she is. 
engage an officer, the general, gen, the magician. <laughs> good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. No, haha, I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. He increases veils and mirrors. Ooh, tempting. 50 echo. Wah. Engage a sailor. What desperate desire has led this one to sign on? Who cares? They're very keen. Consequently, they're cheap. I am not going to be increasing my crew. I currently have eight crew, as you can see here underneath my portrait. And that is enough to keep my ship running at its maximum speed, but not so much that we're just burning our way through food supplies. I would like to take the magician, but I just, I cannot. I, I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I can afford him. I, I just... I, I would love to have an engineer, especially one that increases veils and mirrors because those are very useful stats, but, but 50 echoes, perhaps not. Now, one thing to check, someone in here sells, I think, yes. All right, they sell mushroom wine for 21 each. That is, oh boy, that is so much money. <laughs> um, I have the ad breaks set up on auto, Sierra Lad, so, and, and I can't pick the ads. So, um, I may be sponsored by horror movies, but I did not choose that. But all things considered, that's, a, that's not a bad choice for going along with this game. <laughs> but yeah, for 210 echoes, I could buy 10 casks of mushroom wine for, for that tomb colonist. But absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't even have that much money. Alas. Anything, is there anything else going on? I could carouse, but I'm not. Um... I guess that my my best choice at this point is to go looking for the Corsair's Forest and Guider's Morn. That that seems my best course of action at this point. So I've got 17 fuel and 10 supplies. Oop. I will buy Two more supplies. Oh, everything's so expensive. I miss having the over a thousand echoes that I had just a short while ago before I got killed by the bats. Okay, pausing. So far, the Corsair's Forest has been sort of here in one life that I remember kind of here in the previous life, over here in another life. Um, I'm gonna try sailing east and, and uh, north, I think. <laughs> if only the ad break would pay for my supplies in this game. Okay, first stop, we go over to the light ship to pick up a new Z story. I mean, everything is at its least expensive in London, 
So in London, fuel is 10 echoes and food is uh, 20. Everywhere else it's more expensive. All right, let's get a fresh Z story. Lose a bit of terror, get a Z story. And then very carefully turn east before crashing into Rowena's rocks. And see if we can't find the Corsair's forest. I will note for the record that earlier this evening I got an achievement for spending a year at Z, which means that I basically spent a year's worth of, of days sailing over the course of this playthrough. <laughs> Across multiple lives. Many multiple islands. This seems promising. Nothing within the Z Bat's range, though. There doesn't seem to be any more islands up here, though. Wait, what's this over here? Depot A. I'm not sure if I found this place before. Station 3, Depot A. We may infer a Station 1 and Station 2. We may conjecture a Station 4. Conjecture a st st Station 4. Station 3. Machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill, there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire. But the lamps are low where they burn at all, and your ship is the only one in harbor. Okay, you can train your telescope on shore. Might be best to get a look from a distance. That is unlocked when you don't have a port report yet, so apparently that gets the port report. There's deliver a long box. The only way past the walls is an unimposing but sturdy looking triple locked gate, silvery metal. A sign beside it re reads deliveries. The gate stands open. You'll need a long box to enter station three and explore further don't have one of those. Try the gate. The only way past the walls is an unimposing but sturdy looking gate of triple barred silvery metal. A sign beside it, it reads deliveries. Unlocked when you have don't have a long box. All right. Search for signs of other visitors. It never hurts to know what you are up against. That's a tough challenge with only a 34% chance of success. Not great. Okay, let's, uh, let's train the telescope on shore, since apparently that generates a port report. Church? Or something else? You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There's a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. Okay, now I have a port report for Station 3. Should I try the gate? Let's try the gate. No way in. The metal is steel hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's gun to bear? But no. If you return with a certain delivery, the gate will be open. You'll know if you find it. Oh, will I? All right, I am not going to search for signs of other visitors, I think. Perhaps not. 
Okay. I'm going to try going south of here. Because I'm facing in that direction. That That's the entire reason. Might be a ship or that might be a lighthouse, but either way, I'm, I'm wary. Mm -mm, nothing within the Z-Bat's range. is a light ship. And bats. I don't want to deal with bats. I don't actually need anything from them, but I might as well put in at this light ship just so that my map remembers where it is. Yeah, you can you can buy fuel from the light ships, but it's it's quite expensive. It's twice the cost as in London. So it's only for emergencies. I shall continue southward since I was already heading that way. Finding all these little islands keeps giving me hope that I, I'm near the Corsair's forest, but... Patrick's Lot. Okay, that's near the forest, usually. Yes, we, we have found the Corsair's Forest. Now all we have to do is find Guider's Morn. It'll be in here somewhere. I've discovered it. Where is it? There it is. There it is. I see you. Ha-ha! We have arrived at the Guider's Morn, and we are winched up into our spot. So... Here we uh, get uh, the special information for the Admiralty. And we have the choice between pay the loitering docker for his strategic information uh, he says, Admiralty sent you, price has gone up, it's not safe here. You'll pay the difference, won't you? That costs five echoes. Or you can refuse to pay, and which the response is, you're a rough cove. Come on, this is me living and me life. I choose to pay. A grin, you're a generous soul. You'll have your reward on the other side of the river one day. And here's a little reward for now. Good sailing to ye. The report is barely legible. Perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiralty will know. Gotten the commission, and I now have one strategic information for which the Admiralty will pay extremely handsomely. Okay, so... This life has not heard about the pirate poet yet, so uh, let's hear about her. 
I already read this earlier this evening, though, so I'm just gonna... Now this life knows about her. Now I'll be able to see the fact that it's an Alkis class ship and be like, nope, not dealing with her. Okay. Gathering intelligence only has a 30% chance of success, but it will generate a port report. So we're gonna try it anyway. Here we go. A dislike of spies. You and one of your more villainous looking sailors join a dice game. Villainous looking, but you know for a fact that she ties to charity and has a delightful singing voice. The topic turns promisingly to pillage and ambush, but your sailor is a little too forward with her questions. There's a scuffle and a stabbing. You escape. She does not. Veils failed. I have a port report. I've gained five terror and lost a crewmate because she was stabbed. This is why I don't come to Guider's Morn very often. <laughs> All right, let's explore the morn. An intriguing smell. Who'll try? Who'll buy? Oh, excellent. My hearts have not raised since last time, but I'm still going to have the prawns. Lost two terror, gained a fragment, lost five hunger. Life is as good as it can be when one of my crew has just been stabbed. If I ever find an adult Glumigan, I am bringing it straight here, you understand. Alright, it's time to go. I may as well head back to London, but if I swing as far west as I can, I should probably find the Khmean Canal and I'll be able to just uh, put in there for a bit. You know, assuming I get out of this port without putting my nose into that little island. I don't think I've done it on stream, but in one of my previous plays of this game, uh, one of the ones that got overwritten for the stream version, I did, in fact, drive straight into a dock while trying to land there. And damaged my ship fairly badly. On stream, I have driven into a very solid lily pad and done damage to my ship. I have not yet driven into an island, but I live in constant fear of doing so if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yes, there we go. Little ships throng the waters here, the crew grow wistful, they swap old stories of sunlit seas. We draw near to the Chimean Canal, the way to the surface. And the port, yep, there's the port right there. Here, the dark waters run down from the surface from a brighter sea. Okay, let's gather information for a port report. Business as usual, one perfunctory port report. And let's listen for some surface gossip, because they will pay well for that. Oh my goodness! Oh, I rolled good. I rolled good. A sorry end. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble for the coins that spill from her pockets, but you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings, dates, times, code names, spies work? 
I have a move in the great game. I have a move in the great game. I can trade that for good things. I am not going to travel to the surface. I'm just going to be gleeful over getting a move in the great game so easily. And I'm going to scoot back to London with this sucker. Hopefully without engaging any crabs, jilly fleurs, or bats along the way. At the very least, the Admiral will give me good things for moves in the great game, but sometimes there's somebody in the rose market who will pay even better for them. I don't think I have that active right now, though. sticking very close to shore indeed in the hopes that there will not be sea monsters. <laughs> Oh, it's Quaker's Haven. I will certainly stop in there. Nearly missed it in the fog. I still can't afford the cat, still not getting the cat. Chat to the fishermen, get a port report. Costs one whole echo, which is kind of dear at the moment, but port report. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work, conate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Cats are extremely expensive, especially here. This wretched mog costs three supplies. This cat, which is just a mascot, so it doesn't actively give me fresh points, just passively, if I use it. Costs 60 echo. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is, that is a very expensive cat right now. Uh, let's see, I can visit the hilltop above town. That is a 100% chance of success. I kind of like that idea. Not much wind on the Untersea, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicably local fragment of weather, and the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Let's do that. Oh, wow, that, that, is, that is an old cat. That is a cat that has lived a long time. Toasting the wind. You stand on a cliff top, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is a southerly. That is a success. I've gained two terror and two fragments. Huh. I'm not going to do anything else here.
had us go around the island, avoiding that crabling over there. We're nearly home. It's Rowena's Rocks. Here's the light ship again. I could stop in at the sisters, but I don't... I don't think there is a good reason to right at the moment. So let's just go straight into London. Collect messages from the harbor master. Something has changed in Meath. Someone wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends to business on the dock. I have another day of free evening, and the rose market hasn't changed. Ah, the blind bruiser demands my attention immediately. Good evening, Captain, and what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind my saying so. And given it is my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo if you happen to be in the area? The cheery man will, of course, cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. I will be accepting this commission because the alternatives are worse. So now I'm a smuggler. Deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston. They will see we get to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage is my aunt who was French by birth, if not by the inclination, used to say. Okay, trying to find Mount Palmerston is what got me killed most recently. But it's going to happen again. Okay. Uh, let's check the rose, the rose market just in case. Now, we have Solus Fruit and Outlandish Artifact. No one is looking for a move in the great game here. So I guess we'll be taking it to the Admiral. Going to pass on strategic information first. The Admiral sits up, though, though he steeples his fingers and pretends calm. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. That's 150 echo. Yay, thank goodness. I could write a will now if I really wanted, but that would leave me with very little money to spare. Let's submit to port reports. What is the day today like on those farther shores? All right, Guider's Morn, you have something to tell us about the pirate fleets of the forest? Submitted the port report, gained 30 echo, one favor, and a fuel. Station 3. Excuse me, just let me call a colleague in. Omitted. This is my colleague, Mr. Villain of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villain, this good captain's report is here. If you would care to... Yes, the fire is already lit. Let us... There we go. Now only ashes remain, and it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. Well, uh, that is the end of that port report. Very, very uh, much so. 100 echo! One favor and a fuel. I can afford to write a will! 
The Chimian Canal? Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. That's five echo and lost the port report. I hate how going to the Chimian Canal does not reward in fuel. Quaker's Haven. Been trying the original rubbery lumps, have we? Lost the port report, gained five echo, one favor, and a fuel. All right, ask if there's anything in particular they need, if we can be assured of your discretion. The Admiral will see you now. The Admiral deals directly with more sensitive commissions. We're going to start by finding out what he needs in particular, if he can be assured of my discretion. This port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Oh, he wants information from the Chapel of Lights. And he's given actual directions so I can add that to my list now. Northeast of London. That is, uh, while that is a description that matches both the times that I've found the Chapel of Lights, it's also, uh, oh, well, welcome back, Sierra Lad. I, my sympathy is about your internet. Northeast of London, which is accurate to where I found it, but does not actually describe how far north that thing tends to land, apparently. Okay, and then speak of moves in the great game. whispers. He has you repeat it all twice. He doesn't take notes. It's a little beyond me, he tells you, but I have a friend in the palace who'll be interested. Very interested. Thank you. Your fee. Thirty echo and a favor. I like having favor. Let's see. Anything else? Alas, no. Well, uh, let's check in with the merchant venturer before we go to our lodgings. I can afford to make a will. <laughs> the merchant venturer. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. What does he want this time? An opportunity for profit. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. Let's see, what does he want? Something deep. 500 echoes for seven peculiar fish corpses, a very fine price. Seven strange catch. Something savage. I imagine you need to, uh, hunt things. Fierce things. 500 echoes for seven pieces. This does not entirely seem worth it to me. But, uh, that's seven hunting trophies. Oh my goodness. Those are not easy. All right, seven strange catch. Just adding it to my post-it note for him. Or seven hunting trophies. Sigh. Okay. It is unlikely I will ever have all of those, but 
All right, lodgings. Read the papers. One recent news, lost to terror. Okay, visit my study. Scrolling down, scrolling down, write a will. Writing the will allows my next character to keep the townhouse, which I am very interested in doing. So, writing a will. Oh, and it only cost 100 Echo, even though it said 200. I can't complain about that, honestly. Baseborn and fowling piece. The lawyer peers at you like a vulture composed of crocodiles. Come now, she creaks. There's a few years in you yet. But your caution does you credit. Sign here. No, no, ink is fine. This isn't the brass embassy. I now have an ironclad will. And lost a hundred echo. I cannot do any of these other things because I don't have enough secrets or any of the things that you need. So that's that's fine. Now I get to continue keeping the townhouse. I'm very pleased about that. Let's see, anything else to do here? What's in my hold? Well, let's use two of my secrets and raise my mirrors with the Sly Navigator. Tell me a tale and I'll tell you another. The Z is full of stories. The Z. The Navigator likes to talk about the Z. He has long opinions on its beauties, its dangers, its salinity, its depth and its contents, and the rest. Every other sentence starts the Z, 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 Z. After a while, you reach the point of semantic satiation, and the word Z means no more to you than the word Zop. But you seem to have learned something. Gained a mirror. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. That's two mirrors. And one secret on the side. I like to keep a secret around just in case. I could possibly afford to take on the Clattery Air now. But first, let's see who else is around. New recruit. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Uh, that's a gunnery officer who increases iron. Eh. Only costs 20 echo, though. Engage an officer, the sigil-ridden navigator. I let me guide your ship. I know all the Z. How it was, how it will be, please. I The headaches only stop when I'm working. Uh, that is 50 echo for him. Uh, mm. You know what, I'm going to pay the 30 echo to get the clattery air. And we'll go for the cheap zailer. What desperate desire has led this one to sign on? Who cares? They're very keen. Consequently, they're cheap. That costs five whole echo for a sailor to replace the one I got stabbed. Lost one terror, gained a crew, lost five echo. And the clattery air has disappeared. Great. 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 Fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Maybe she'll be back the next time we come to London. Okay, so we we sail northward again. Like that hasn't been my doom before. <laughs> Pretty much there, lad. All right, let's buy oh, no, not that much fuel. Let's buy some more fuel. And buy some more food. Ugh. 
I have so little money again. Okay, let's go. I'm going to do pretty much exactly what I did last life in that I'm going to stop by the light ship to get a Z story and then head all as close to straight north as I can from there, I think. If nothing else, that will get me to the gate. Okay, we'll take that Z story, thank you. I doubt it will work so well a second time, but uh, before, this uh, landed me almost directly in the lap of the Chapel of Lights. Which is kind of where I want to go. You know, varying levels of want. If nothing else, the gate doesn't seem to move often. The Sisterhood? Have I been here before? Am I just discovering new places a lot tonight? I don't remember seeing the Sisterhood before. Yui, get in there. Abbey Rock, here the Grim Sisters lair. A black spit of an island far from anywhere anyone would want to go. And that's how the Sisterhood likes it. Here stands their fortress convent. There are bear traps that look friendlier than this. Trade supplies. Resources are limited on this bleak rock. The Sisterhood will pay, pay a fair price for supplies. Not a good price, mind. Twenty echoes, to be precise. That's exactly what I pay for supplies. Compile a port report. It's unlikely to be eventful. Knock at the iron-studded gates, although you have no recent news. That would... Yeah, if you don't have recent news, that's what goes on. Watch the convent, wait a while, and see. Hmm. Offer a gift. The Sisterhood respects two things, unswerving decades of fidelity to a holy secret purpose, and the ability to shoot straight. Perhaps you can demonstrate the second. This will reduce terror by giving them a hunting trophy. Search the surroundings. You can't be the first to come here. That's a uh, beginner's luck, oh boy. Uh, well, let's try compiling a port report because that's what I always do. Nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks, withdraws. The fortress stands solid as the last year of a century. The greatest peril you risk here is a certain purpleness of prose. <laughs> Let's watch the convent. Just wait a while and see what happens. Dangerous training. Like huge and deadly herons, the sisters stalk along the very tops of the walls. You watch through a spyglass as they leap and whirl, slashing at each other with a variety of frightening weapons. God, one of them just turned a somersault. That's 
five fragments. Uh, I'm I'm just going to move on from here, I think. We'll continue northward. If that beginner's luck thing is only a single, I want to expend it at the gates, not here. Westergren's fire. Huh. And that's a jilly. I don't want to deal with a jilly. They're more maneuverable than I am. Flitterstone Isle. The jilly fleur is very confused. There are so many new places here. I'm almost sad I won't be playing this game next week. Ah! Sheep, lichen, standing stones. Oh, I've been to the Shepherd Isles before. Of course, the bearded watchman tells you there are no actual shepherds on the Shepherd Isles. Sheep are mostly illegal here. No, indeed, it's just the name of the gentleman that found the islands. Greybeard, sitting in the village square, nods solemnly. No sheep, one says, but plenty of tails. Ask us anything. Compile a port report. Oh, yes, yes, my yes. There's been goings on. Or engage a nav an officer, the Sigil Riven na Navigator, who somehow got here before me. Here, he still costs 50 echoes. Nope, that's not happening. Compile a port report. In the bleak light o' oh, the false stars, surface rollin' like a porridge pot, up with a roar of steam and a flash of fire, three widows swimmin', tentacles, and then we saw his highness. There's rather a lot of this material. I now have a port report. It makes no sense. Um, continuing northward, I guess? We'll just uh, squeak between these two islands here. I'm allowing myself to run late tonight because I started late. If I had started on time, I would have stopped at that island, but... Voids approach. The air crackles with false radiations to the north. The false stars fail in the darkness. The gate is nearby. The chapel may be as well. Chapel of Lights is some distance to the north. Thank you very much, Bat. Yes, if I just continue on this path. I should hopefully uh, not run into it. It's somewhere in this fog. There it is. The Chapel of Lights is really near the gate, now that I come to think of it. Do you hear music? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower, cracked iron laughter. Beware, the aisle is full of voices. All right, let's collect the information we were sent for. The smiling priest is your contact. Speak to him. He beckons you closer. I know nothing of the movements of fleets or cargoes or armies, he tells you, but your admiralty will learn the names of those who came here and what they did. Let me whisper it in your ear. I now have one strategic information. I have completed my commission. I've gained a terror. I've gained a tale of terror. I've gained a fragment. All right. 
right, let's gather some intelligence. Smiling priest in a red cassock tends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note the name of a ship or two. Everything is fine. Eat of the chapel's bounty. Rich and red, they have shark steaks plucked from the sea, thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper, little crimson cakes flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds, tomatoes impossibly ripe and sweet so far from the surface. Gorge yourself, lead with the juices dripping from your chin. You've lost twelve hunger. Okay, I have no nightmare to give to the well. I am not spending the supplies to attend service at the chapel. So it's time to go. Every time I have found the Chapel of Lights, the gate has been just north of it. There it is. The two are paired, I swear. The Avid Horizon. Definitely not Mount Palmerston, but... Okay, let us gather some intelligence. Nothing moves. The stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And what then? My journey here may attract the attention of a certain crimson patron. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. Oh dear, the color is not here. That is very unfortunate. Well, let's explore the shoreline then. A shipwreck. Beneath the black and freezing water, a ship lies rusting. Its hull has been torn like paper. Lifeberg's work? Some of the supplies and cargo are salvageable. Why were they bringing sapphires here? Gained three supplies, gained three fuel, gained three caskets of sapphires, which if I can get them back to London, I can sell for a good price. <sighs> the color isn't here. The color is supposed to be here. I'm very upset about this. <laughs> Do I dare look into the stars? I don't think so. You know what? Let's do it. Let's look into the stars. Peace beneath the world. These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the neath, beyond the earth, in the spaces of heaven. Even so, far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here, in the night, under the world, you are safe, safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold, numb. How long were you watching the stars? Gained ten terror, I now count as nervous, but I've gained a fragment. And a very odd memory, apparently. Uh, I'm very upset. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back here. I, I know the color is supposed to be here.
what is this over here? I wonder. Palmerston's Reach. Aha! Mount Palmerston, where are you? Oh, there you are. Didn't even need the bat. The bat found it anyway, but I didn't need it. Now, where is the port on this sucker? There it is. I do not like that there is an edge of storm around here. shot. Here we go. Mount Palmerston. Brimstone. Always brimstone. Southern lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port buildings, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountain's top flickers red just for an instant. There is an officer here to be engaged, the Merciless Modiste. First officer who increases iron, veils, and hearts, which is great, but she's very expensive because she's unlocked with five bales of Parabola linen, which I, the least expenses I've seen that stuff is 100 each. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. Deliver your smuggled souls and dig amongst the ruins. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is deliver the smuggled souls. A hooded figure with a lantern waits at the far end of the quay. A hurried exchange. You give the hooded shape a sign of recognition. It hisses the reply you expected. You hand over the crate and receive a chitty marked with thief sign. You'll receive the promised remuneration in London. I've lost the crate of smuggled human souls. I... Uh, at least customs will not find them on my ship anymore. Okay, I need a port report. How do I get this? That's something awaits. Chat to the folk about the... Ah, there we go. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here they plot in exile. A shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there, and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for us all, isn't it? I now have a port report for Mount Palmerston. I could dig amongst the ruins with a 60% chance of success. But first, I'm going to explore the island. A Blemigan colony. At the heart of a salty little bog, you come upon a pulsing mound of Blemigans. They are rich purple, like mascara perhaps, or blackberries. They chitter as they swarm. The sound is like pebbles on a beach. Be careful. A single Blemigan is a nuisance. A hundred are a calamity. I can assault the colony. Repulsive creatures, take what you can. That's a high-risk challenge with only a 30% chance of success, not even a third. Or I can observe the, ch the colony. Fascinating creatures. Learn what you can. That's a tough challenge with a 37% chance of success. How many secrets do I have? Oh man, I can't, I can't spend my secrets to raise my mirrors. That is unfortunate. Okay, 37% is better than 30, so I'm going to try observing. Cross fingers. Mildly diverting. There's some sort of purple mushroom. Unlike most purple mushrooms, they have tentacles and fangs, and they run around a lot. 
Er, that's as much as you get. Perhaps your mind's not on it. Mirrors failed in a challenge. Try again and you may have better luck. Gained two fragments, but I didn't die. <gasps> Which reminds me, I had that crewmate die ages ago. Oh goodness, her death has gone uncounted for so long. Come on. There we go. I feel bad about not counting her death until now. It's been so long. Okay. I'm gonna go for the dig amongst the ruins with the 60% chance. Hopefully it will go better. It will cost two supplies, but I think I can spare it. A cellar full of bones. How many of them died down here? You could bury them in the ash, but they're so choked and jumbled you might as well leave them here below. The whole island is the unholiest imaginable ground anyway. At least you have souvenirs, three grinning skulls, and a carven crooked cross. This was fortunate? I lost two supplies. I have one outlandish artifact. A memory of distant shores! Yes, I have everything that I need. Gained ten terror and have three lamentable relics. Oh boy. Well, it's time to go. It's time to go. I would like to go back to London by the straightest line possible. Perhaps if I cut across towards Venderbite? We're turning south. We're turning southeast. We're kinda going this way. We're hoping to not meet the mountain that was ultimately the cause of my previous death. We're going the right way. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzling with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. I could attempt to calm them. There's a perfectly natural explanation, which is a very modest challenge with a 74% chance of success, or spin them a story. Ah, now, any lover knows what a blue light means. That is, unlocked with a Z story. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to try to calm them. Light meets dark. The darkness in the neath is more than the absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zaylers. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. That's a success in the heart's challenge, and I've gained a fragment. is a whirlpool. You don't want to sail into whirlpools because you'll get kind of stuck. Void's approach. Dang, it's huge. Still going in the right direction? Pretty much. 
Thornwell Croft. Is there a port associated with that? Apparently not. That seems strange. Oh, it's the Shepherd Isles. Okay, never mind. I'd already discovered it. I knew that sounded familiar. I keep getting my lives mixed up. Shepherd's Wash, the salty hinderland of London, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. Yes, I'm sailing pretty much straight towards Venderbite here. I'm working on it, Green! I'm working on it! Look at how much I'm working on it! Just as a curiosity. Oh no, not another storm. What is a storm doing this far south? If I've aimed correctly, this should be vendor bite just below me. Yes, there it is. Still don't have any mushroom wine. But let's gather some gossip. Uh, um, sure, let's explore. An uneventful afternoon. You wander the echoing streets alone. From time to time, the sensation of being watched comes upon you. But each time, when you halt, you hear no other's footsteps. Nothing eventful, only eerie. But when you return to the quayside, someone has left an odd, bulky box for you. There's no bill of lading, but the name of your ship is attached to a tag. I now have one Soothe and Cooper long box. Gained one terror, though. But that's entry into that station. Oh, everything is so eventful. This has been quite a stream to cap off the playing for a while. Alright. Good night, Sierra lad. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate showing you this game. and pirates? I am so lucky. My veils is not as high as it was before. But I seem to have managed it somehow anyway. Let's stop in at the keep, just because. Let's uh, generate a port report. And my terror is very high, so I'm going to have lunch with Lucy because she provides the largest amount of terror reduction. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially a complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. 
Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. I've lost 10 terror. New total is 46. I'm back to nervous. More, greater acquainted to the sisters. Gained a supply. Lost 20 hunger. Bernay Murray at different distant shores remains unchanged at one, and I have Stone's attention now. Back to London. I found it's easiest to do the tight turns while still going slowly, and then pick up speed once I've made it around. Okay, we're going to pull into London. I'm going to process a majority of the things that I have gathered here. And then I think it will be calling it a night. But first, all the processing. All the processing in the world. Okay. Let's start with souls delivered to the blind bruiser. What a proprietous and encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place, which has been so very fortunate for us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand since you have demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealing and honest conveyage. Very good. My patron will toast you. I can accept payment because I do need to cover my costs, or I can remove, refuse payment and announce to the blind bruiser that this pays my debt and I'm done. Which is what I'm going to do, because the time that I let this continue with the having to leave London not being able to return until I have the, the stupid package really hurt. So, this is my debt. I'm done. Noble disappointment. I will not pretend that this has improved my evening. On the contrary, it has left me a deep sadness in me art. Notwithstanding, however, I might say that you have acquitted yourself honorably, and I do not think my patron will feel the need to pursue the matter further. Not at this time. As long as you keep your mouth, he leans close, tight snap shut. Good night. That takes care of that. All right, Father's Bones, the next step. Do I have what my contact wants? I do! Mr. Huffam. He wants news to cover his cost and risks. Frankly, his price is not high if the masters of the bazaar really are involved. But Huffam has a generous soul. You should at least pay for the coffee. That'll be one echo, a tale of terror, a memory of distant shores, a Z story. And my memoir, my past is of a poet. Another coffee in Caligua's. This time, Huffam is waiting in a shadowed nook by the kitchen, half hidden behind a pile of manuscripts. Your father, he whispers, was surrendered to the postal service. Yes, yes, it's undignified, although the postmen of London are honorable and tenacious. The package should have found its way back to the bazaar, but something went wrong. He leans forward. The package is in Nuncio. Nuncio! The island where postmen go when they have seen too much. The island of letters not only dead but buried. Nuncio. The master's ally addressed the package, Huffam adds, to a Mr. Voluminous, but at the wrong door. He is already gathering his manuscripts to go. Good luck. And one piece of advice. Be courteous to the powers of the deep Z. You never know when you might benefit. Find Nuncio somewhere in the central or eastern entrance to continue. I don't believe I have Nuncio on my list officially. I found it in two of my lives, but I just sort of stumbled across it. I wasn't directed to it. So... Let's add it to the list. 
Nuncio. Somewhere in central or eastern Unterzi. There we go. Seek a parcel with your name in Nuncio, somewhere in the south of the Z. Now that that's um, it says south in, in here, but central or eastern there. So I'm just going to put or south on here. Okay, lost tale of terror, lost a memory of distant shores, lost a Z story, lost one whole echo. Worth. Okay, Ad to the Admiral. You're ushered into his office off Mansion's Pyre. Let us pass on strategic information. Same text as before, another 150 echo and another favor. And let us ask if he can be assured of our discretion. Is there anything in particular he wants? This port, speak to our agent there in return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Strategic information from Fust found in the north, which I believe is already on my list. Yes, it is. Apparently, I was going there anyway. All right, let's submit our port reports. Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. Five echo and a free fuel. Mount Palmerston, the Brimstone Convention. They trouble me, Captain. Forty echo, one favor, and a fuel. Benderbite, so what have the nearly dead been up to then? Ten echo and a free fuel. Now, Shepherd's Isle is a weird place. Uh, something is going on there that I have not quite plumbed the depths of in any of my previous visits. But you have two possible ways of uh, submitting the port reports there. You can submit fact, which is always a challenge and is currently only has an 18% chance of success, or you can submit your visit as hearsay. We do hear some unlikely tales of that place, and that is what I'm going to do because 18% is, is not good. Friendly scoffing. I agree, it does seem implausible. So many of the stories from that place do. Still, there's a little gold of truth in the mud of rumor from time to time. Your payment, Captain. Ten echo, a favor, and a fuel. Abbey Rock. We categorize it as a military installation, you know, although that has occasioned some quite vigorous debate. One favor, twenty echo, and a fuel. Do I still have whole space? I do. The Chapel of Lights. There's something about the Untersee that breeds heresy and dissent. I rather think we might need to send the Bishop of Southwark out for a good bit of Christian shouting. Twenty echo, one favor, and a fuel. Avid Horizon. I hope you intend to tell me that everything is quiet there. One port report submitted, ten echo, one favor, and a fuel, and a visit from Mr. Sachs. Which I am not going to deal with right now. Um, I don't think I picked up anything for the people at Roser's Wharf, but let's check. Nope. 
No solace fruit, no outlandish art. Oh wait, I do have an outlandish artifact. How many do I have? I have one. Yes, let's sell it. The veteran privy counselor is seeking an outlandish artifact. He is there, surveying curios from distant ports with palace servants in muted slippers. The empress dislikes loud noises. A collector of sorts. The veteran privy counselor holds a mirror behind the artifact and examines the reflection. Hmm, yes. Inferior to London workmanship, obviously, but it will make an acceptable conversation piece nevertheless. He snaps his fingers at a servant. Pay the captain. I've lost my artifact, but I've gained 150 echo, and the rose market has closed. Continuing onwards, the alarming scholar. They will buy a lamentable relic. Not a scientific curiosity, necessarily, but the scholar has a collection, or something. A beaming smile. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. They buff the cranium with a sleeve. I think a climbing briar rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. Lost one relic, gained five echo. My favor with the antiquarian is increasing. I'm not sure if there's anything else to do with the lamentable relics. Let's check my lodgings. Read the morning papers. Got a recent news. Lost a terror. Visit my study. Is there anything to be done with lamentable relics here? Oh, with seven lamentable relics, I can create an anatomical cabinet. Uh, that, that would be a lot of time. Uh, anything else at all? It appears not. So I could sell them or I could hoard them. It's really hard to say what would be the appropriate thing to do. I don't want to deal with the visit from Mr. Sachs right now because I am planning on ending this stream and not streaming Sunless Sea for a while. So I think I want to leave that for the next time I stream it because I will return to it for a, a Try Not to Die Thursday at some point in the future. Uh... A new recruit is not available. I have an 80% chance of success on carousing in Wolfstack docks to reduce my terror, and I think I will definitely do that because my terror is extremely high, and I have some echo to spend, thank goodness. So, let's carouse. A marvelous night out! Sea shanties, fine food, and the warmth of a pub fire, and something more. Lost five terror and ten echo, another recent news. Lost my free evening, surprise. Trouble and romance. That night in Wolfstack, you find yourself sharing a table with a likely lass. She typically claims to be a spy. Whatever she is, she's easy to like, and when the evening ends, you're still together. A dapper chap, an elegant fellow with a presbyterate accent and an unexpectedly delighted laugh. By the evening's end, it seems natural that he should accompany you home. Or someone whose name you do not afterwards recall. Your only love is the Z. You'll take comfort where you find it, but that's all it is. I... I kind of want the romance, because I want... I want the kid, actually. Uh... Last time it was the chap, so I'm going to go with the last this time. My tipsy spy. An interlude. The next morning, she gives you a pewter locket. As you reach for it, she grips it briefly in her fist. Don't you dare forget me, she says. 
I now have a locket with a likely lass's portrait and lost another three terror. I'm still nervous, but it's a lower nervous. I can't carouse. There's no point in hiring on new crew. I'm very sad about the clattery air just disappearing into the ether like that. It's a visit with Mr. Sachs left, but I am going to leave that because I want to remember. I, I want to remember things for once, just this once. So this is where I'm going to call it a night. It has been a very eventful life, although it has been very short. And this is where Sunless Sea leaves off for a while. I will return to it at some point in the future, but I'm not sure when. I don't have a specific schedule for when I return to games, but it is time to switch. So. If you are interested in the Sunless Sea or want to uh, go over everything that has happened, it is available on my YouTube channel. There is a whole, it's all organized together into a playlist or it updates every Tuesday and you can just check the videos list. It's all there, nicely organized, chopped into pieces so that it's easier to watch and upload and all that sort of fun stuff. And. I may very well watch it myself to remind myself what I'm doing when I finally do return to the game. <laughs> and I will return again on Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, where I will be playing Disco Elysium, an RPG where I am attempting to solve a murder mystery. Last week's, last Sunday's stream was extremely eventful. <laughs> so many things happened. But the game didn't end. I can't help but feel that I'm close to the end of the game, but I still can't tell how close. So Disco Elysium continues on Sunday. And then I will return again after that at on Wednesday at as close to 7 as a group of people can be all gotten together into one electronic place to play Among Us with a local group of my writing friends. And then Try Not to Die Thursday will return again on Thursday, starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, where I will be playing a game called Lost Epic, which is a Souls-like platformer with a sort of an anime-ish art style, which is played with a controller, which I am a bit of a klutz with, so it should be really fun to watch me attempt to pull that off. So that will be next week. And I hope to see you all then. And I hope to see you all on Sunday because, well, murder mystery is not going to solve itself, apparently. But yes, this was an extremely eventful stream. A very good place to leave off, in my opinion, with everything that happened. It's uh, so much stuff packed into the stream this time around. So much. I hope that you all had as much fun as I did. And I hope that you return again on Sunday and on Wednesday and next Thursday for Try Not to Die Thursday. And I hope that you have a great night going forward. Good night!